All right guys, I'm about to make some of this coffee concentrate from Javi. So um, my friend Josh is here. So I have two cups of unsweetened vanilla almond milk sitting here, one for each of us. I have my, uh, my whisk. I have my birthday cake skinny syrup and some heavy whipping cream. I poured a little bit of that in there with this and I'm gonna make some whipped cream for on top of it. So here we go. Here's my beautiful homemade whipped cream. It says add one to two teaspoons. Very thick. Oop. I'm gonna wash the side off. I got some coffee dripping down. All right, I'm gonna mix it in. Next, I'm gonna add some of this in. All right, so we tripled up because these cups are so large and full, and I'm assuming that, you know, most people have like a an eight ounce cup of coffee. All right, so here's my drink with my whipped cream in. I stirred it up a little bit. You want a lid? Put my lid on. All right, let's try it out. Don't mind my appearance. I taste the coffee a lot more now that it has the sweetener in it. I think I just used a lot of almond milk, to be honest. It's really good, though. I used the birthday cake in there. You can definitely taste the birthday cake. I have my, my whipped cream up at the top. You can put it in hot, cold. You can use it in cooking, I assume. You know, like how some people use cooking, um, coffee and cooking. You could use that in there. 100 milligrams of coffee per one to two teaspoons. I did three of those, so it's like the same as a bang. So this is totally okay for me. I'm used to this amount of caffeine. Um, I'll sip on this for the rest of the day. I won't drink it all at once. It tastes pretty good and it's nice to have on hand, you know? You can have this up in your cabinet and if somebody comes over and you, if you're not a coffee drinker, but you like to serve people, you can have this. It's always fresh. It does taste better than dehydrated coffee. There you go. And that's from a co coffee snob who worked at Starbucks. So there's a link down below in my description. You guys can try Javi if you want. I have a, a affiliate link with them so you can get a little discount. And I do recommend it. I think it's pretty good. Especially if you were like a baker and you want to make like a coffee cake. Do you put coffee in coffee cake? Yes. There you go. All right. What are you doing? I've not eaten anything yet today, so I'm gonna go because I'm kind of hungry, and I'll see you guys soon. This is my breakfast slash lunch. I went to McDonald's, got two double cheeseburgers, took the buns off, and put it on a keto bun. Yum! Having this with a Diet Coke. I had four squares of those Russell Stover's peanut butter filled things, and they were not so great. So uh, right now I need to go get some laundry detergent, some dog food, some garbage bags, and just household essentials. So uh, I'm riding with Josh. I don't feel like driving. And it is freaking cold today. I am so cold. I went to put on a hoodie and it had an earwig on it. So I threw it back in the house. So I'm freezing. And Josh has the air conditioner on in his car. It's hot in here. It's so cold. Okay, bye. Cooking some ground beef. I'm going to put in some red enchilada sauce. Top it with some cheese, put it in the I oven and melt it. it. Topped it with some cheese and now I'm gonna put it in the oven to crisp up that cheese. And this is my dinner, it looks delicious. I can't wait to eat it. I'm gonna let it cool down for a little while because it's only four o'clock. I'm just gonna put my lid on it and let it sit for a little bit. All right, this is what the kids are gonna have theirs. So they're gonna have it on the tortillas. I am gonna try one on this. It is six net carbs, so I, I'm only gonna try it like that. Just have one. I kind of put a big blob on it. You can see the enchilada sauce coming off there. So I'm gonna try this. Mm -hmm. 